Hi, Ron here from EnvisionCAD. Let's take a quick look at Select Series 3 inroads or open roads technology. And what you're going to see would apply whether you're running Select Series 3 inroads, GeoPack, or MX Road. Open roads is the common technology between the three. And what we're going to look at today is just a little bit of information on um, how data is stored. And I'm not going to use my inroads traditional dialog box. I'm going to stick with the, um, the command menu here. So we do have our standard inroads commands. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to jump over to the Select Series 3 Civil Tools. And what I want to do is create a terrain element. As you may know, we're migrating from having external databases like DTMs and ALGs and storing them in the CAD file. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create a train element by importing um, a existing DTM that's out there. And when I do that, I can give it different um, feature attributes on how it displays. So it's uh, similar to a feature style, if you want to think of it that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and import that. That DTM now becomes a train element, and that train element is stored in the CAD file. To display or access properties for this, the element selection tool becomes very important. We can go ahead and go to properties. Depending on what we want displayed on or off, we can select it from here. Maybe I want to look at triangles. So it's heads up, context sensitive display. Now what I'll do is I'll just leave this with uh, the contour display on. And you'll notice that when I hover, I get a, f or, uh, hover and select on there, I get a flyout menu. And I'm in the drawing that contains that terrain element. So the flyout menu gives me uh, some options here. I maybe I want to save it back out or convert it to a different format. Or refresh it if that source DTM has changed, it would update the terrain element that's in my CAD file. And to illustrate that this is in my CAD file, if I go to my MicroStation Delete command, delete it, that terrain element is gone out of my, my DGN file. But here's the nice part about Select Series 3. If I Control Z or Undo, I get that terrain element back in my drawing. And we can design against this. Now, if we take another step and go into another drawing, for instance, I will go into this um, blank drawing here that has that reference file attached. Not only do I get the graphics that come with the reference file, I also get the train element that's in that reference file. And you can see that on the flyout, it's denoted. So that's the interesting part about Open Roads technology. The engineering information stored in the DGN file. If you reference the DGN file, you get that engineering information. And if I select on here, I do get a flyout. The menu's a little bit different because I'm referencing that terrain element. Um, I can't refresh it or delete it because I'm not in that drawing. It's in a microstation. It's a thinner microstation reference file. So that's where I'm getting that information from. But because it's in a reference file, I still can go to properties. I can say, well, uh, maybe I'll change this override symbology to allow me to override it. And I can still uh, manipulate, turn things on and off, and maybe look at the triangles again. Symbology is a little bit different because it's in a referenced file. But you do have control of what gets displayed, how it gets displayed, even the contour interval and all those settings. The other thing that goes with it is if I use my element information tool, I can drill down into this surface. I shouldn't even say surface, I should say terrain element. It knows the source, it knows it's referenced. Here's different settings that we can just uh, interrogate that DTM with. Um, and some of it's repeated that we saw in that flyout menu. If there's categories or topics that I don't see, you can right click and hide. Maybe I don't even want to see contours ever. We could turn that off. But if we decide to turn stuff on, we can do show hide, turn them back on. So we've seen how we can um, add or subtract uh, different types of uh, element displays in the different categories, but if some of these categories aren't apparent, apparent, you can right click down below to show hide and you can get other categories as well to show up if they're not already there. So that's a quick look into Select Series 3 or Open Roads technology. Thank you for watching.